Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Investor channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Before we move on to today's topic, I just want to let everyone know that Mirror Protocol, a protocol that we covered in one of our videos in February, uh, is recently listed on Binance. So congratulations to people who held Mirror Protocol, uh, to people who bought Mirror Protocol after watching my videos and people who have held Mirror Protocol for a long time. They have, uh, you know, probably seen some really decent gains today after the Binance listing. If you hold it for the long term, just like I do, uh, this short term pump is not going to really matter. But if you guys have sold it uh, after the Binance, you know, decent Binance pump, then uh, congratulations to you, right? So the topic for today is Pokedex. Uh, it is a Polkadot based project. It's a a uh, decentralized exchange project run on the Polkadot blockchain and this project is basically something that I want to cover today because I believe that um, this project uh, has an incredibly high potential. If you take Uniswap for example, uh, Uniswap is basically the premier DEX, uh, ex you know, decentralized exchange uh, in the uh, crypto ecosystem and if you see uh, a very close contender is uh, PancakeSwap which is the premier exchange for the uh, Binance Smart Chain ecosystem, whereas uh, Uniswap is for the, uh, you know, uh, Ethereum ecosystem. Uh, so Polkadot is going to have its parachain auction soon. And the question that comes to everyone's mind is what is going to be Polkadot's, uh, you know, go-to exchange for buying all the, you know, 10x to 100x altcoins that will be listed on uh, Polkadot. So one of the highly likely and the potential con contender for that position is Pokedex, right? So let's cover Pokedex today. Again, as always guys, if you guys want to do your own research, which I highly recommend you guys to do, I suggest you to go to their website, pokedex.trade, that is P-O-L-K-A-D-X dot trade for learning more about this project, right? So right off the bat, uh, the website gives you the Pokedex contract for the Ethereum blockchain. Again, remember that uh, all Polkadot based projects or Polkadot uh, are aiming, uh, the projects that aim to be on the Polkadot blockchain are currently on Ethereum. Some of them are on Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain, but almost all of them are pretty much on the Ethereum, uh, Ethereum blockchain. And if you guys want to purchase uh, you know, Polkadot based projects, including Pokedex, I suggest you guys to use their respective Ethereum contracts either from their own website or from CoinGecko. Please don't uh, fall for uh, fake names. Uh, there's a lot of scammers who are trying to get your money by creating a smart contract uh, or, you know, creating a token that has a similar uh, name as the uh, token that you guys are wa wanting to purchase. So please bear that in mind and uh, only get the uh, contract address from the reputed websites, right? So it's good that um, uh, you know Pokedex has the Pokedex contract on the website immediately when you open. So it prevents people from trying to take a lot of time to search for the uh, contract. So that's that's a pretty good thing on their part. So what is Pokedex? The trading engine for Web3 and DeFi. Pokedex is a fully decentralized peer-to-peer -peer order book based cryptocurrency exchange for the DeFi ecosystem built on Substrate, right? So again, right off the bat, just like the name suggests, it's basically a decentralized exchange that powers the Web 3.0 and the DeFi ecosystem through Substrate, which is basically the, uh, you know, the platform, the, the coding language for um, uh, Polkadot, right? It's basically the ecosystem that's built on the substrate, which is basically uh, the Polkadot ecosystem itself, right? So pretty straightforward, uh, you know, use case. It's um, basically aiming to be the Uniswap or pancake swap of the Polkadot uh, blockchain. Uh, they have the testnet that is coming pretty soon. So it's still pretty early and Polkadot, uh, Polkadex could, uh, you know, probably, uh, you know, even 100x uh, immediately after its main net goes live. But uh, since it's still very early, I just want to present this information to you guys so that you guys can uh, have enough time to do your own research and also uh, buy this token at an extremely low market cap or extremely low price point. And once Polkadot uh, ecosystem goes live, every single Polkadot project is going to pump like crazy. 
and is going to start a mini altcoin season, an altcoin season specifically for the Polkadot based ecosystem coins and every Polkadot based coin is going to pump including Polkadot, right? So please bear that in mind. Uh, the current uh, chains that are supported are basically Ethereum and Polkadot is pretty much coming soon. So Polkadot as well, right? Uh, it's surprising that they don't have a Binance Smart Chain association yet, but we'll probably be able to see something like that in the future. If you see their, uh, their uh, you know, their interface, it, it looks really cool. It looks really nice. It's, uh, it's pretty much like any high quality centralized exchange based layout. Uh, you can pretty much see the charts. You can, you have a lot of indicators and you can kind of use several tools on the uh, leftmost tab. Uh, you can see the price in the, in the center of the page, including the uh, place where you can place the order, uh, set the limit order or market order or whatever on the right hand side of the panel, right? A pretty nice clean dark mode look which will definitely attract a lot of people. Um, so Pokedex order book. Pokedex order book is a non-custodial layer 2 based exchange on the Pokedex uh, network. So Pokedex order book is uh, you know a separate layer. It's basically a layer 2 solution for the Pokedex exchange on the Pokedex network, right? So Pokedex network has the Pokedex exchange and the Pokedex order book forms this layer 2 solution on the Poka, uh, Pokedex uh, network. And you can kind of have a look at their order book uh, by clicking this link here, which I highly recommend you to do uh, to see how the interface feels like, right? So what are the main benefits of this, right? So register multiple hot wallets, connect hot wallets based on browser extensions, mobile phones or iPads and add on-chain trading bots to automate trading with your funds, right? So people who like to trade uh, with multiple different hot wallets, they can do that using Pokedex. They can collect, connect uh, multiple hot uh, wallets uh, based on browser extensions, mobile phones or iPads or you name it, whatever, right? Uh, you'll be able to connect all of your wallets through the Pokedex exchange and also automate your uh, uh, trading feature using uh, on-chain trading bots that will also be eligible to be, you know, that, that will also be, uh, you know, available on the Pokedex ecosystem, right? Delegate your assets to third parties, manage your assets with Pokedex or order book and uh, delegate them to third parties, make profits through algorithmic trading while still keeping control of your crypto assets, right? So again, similar to Uniswap, uh, you, can you can obviously have custody to your own, uh, you know, tokens and your wallet uh, when, when you're trading and transacting. Uh, that's pretty much like a given at this point for any cryptocurrency uh, decentralized exchange. But here you can also manage your Pokedex order book and delegate them to third parties. So you can also, uh, you know, uh, enable a third party to uh, do trading on your behalf or manage your assets on your behalf, right? Which is also pretty cool. Uh, keep your assets safe and secure. Leave your assets on the exchange without worrying about hacks uh, and save on transaction fees for moving your funds in and out every time you want to trade. So whenever you want to, uh, you know, buy, whenever you buy cryptocurrencies from centralized exchanges, there's a, there's a big uh, uh, risk of leaving your cryptocurrency on the, in the centralized exchanges that it's going to be hacked at any time. Because uh, again, that's the main biggest flaw of the centralized exchanges because they have a high central uh, degree of failure, which can be easily attacked and hacked by hackers, right? Uh, but in Pokedex, Although it is an exchange, it's not centralized, it's fully decentralized. So you can you can probably leave your crypto on the exchange itself. Although I personally wouldn't recommend you guys do that. Uh, even if you do accidentally leave some cryptocurrency on the exchange, it's going to be very secure because it's going to be within the Polkadot, uh, you know, secure system. And you can basically uh, save, ta save on transaction fees. You can basically use certain hacks that they have to, uh, you know, uh, you can to... Uh, save on transaction fees when you're moving funds in and out every time you trade, right? This is also pretty cool. So here they have a nice picture of a uh, technological, uh, you know, uh, map or flow chart, uh, however you want to name it, on how things flow between Pokedex, uh, Polkadot blockchain and IPFS and all that fun stuff. So again, I would highly recommend you guys to kind of like look at their interface and uh, play around with it and see how it goes, right? So Pokedex IDO platform, 
Polkadex IDO uh, platform allows token projects to create ERC20 like tokens, conduct fundraise and list them on Polkadex exchange with one click. So basically the they have their own IDO platform, initial uh, decentralized uh, exchange offering or DEX offer, offering where um, you know like you know projects like Uniswap they often do IDO offerings where a project kind of uh, provides liquidity on Uniswap and uh, you know people can kind of like buy uh, specific tokens for a specific period of time on Uniswap using Ethereum or uh, you know some of the LP tokens that they have provided with Ethereum and other tokens. So similar to that Pokedex also has this IDO platform feature where uh, it, it allows for projects uh, you know allows for project to create ERC20 like uh, tokens and conduct fundraise and list them on the Pokedex exchange with just one click right. Um, you can also in the future have a Pokedex mobile app and uh, just just to go back a little bit, they plan to do this on Q3 to Q4 2021, right? The Pokedex IDO is, is going to be potentially available in Q3 or Q4 of 2021. Now we are currently in the Q2 phase. When you take the Q3 to Q4, uh, what other developments are happening in this quarter, you can clearly see that they are planning to launch their Pokedex mobile app which will be uh, really interesting uh, to use. Pokedex Mobile allows traders to place, modify and cancel trades from their air-gapped cold wallets and receive funds directly to cold wallet. Uh, it shows a new paradigm shift on uh, in how traders trade. So Pokedex kind of links your uh, account to your uh, cold wallet. So you never have to worry about uh, you know, your funds getting stolen through your phone. Uh, because it's always going to be uh, trading within the you know uh, within the cold wallet, and your funds will go back to your cold wallet once the trade has happened in the in your mobile phone, right? Through this app, so it's a pretty interesting feature that will allow for more people to use, and there will be a lot of projects that will also copy this feature as well, right? The features, the future of decentralized trading. Pokedex is the first project featuring an order book based exchange on the Polkadot ecosystem. So this is one of the main uh, selling features for Pokedex where it kind of offers this order book based uh, you know, trading uh, feature, trading platform that helps people to make limit orders and see the, see the price charts and make uh, I use, and use useful indicators in order to make price predictions, right? Trustless cross-chain transfers, trustless cross-chain bridges help to bring any blockchain token to uh, Pokedex in a non-custodial and trustless manner. It functions through Parachain with Polkadot network and Snowfork with Ethereum network. Polkadot, uh, Pokedex is built for the future making it possible to integrate with other liquidity providers using forkless upgrades. Uh, we do not have access to the use uh, to the user funds or smart contract keys, right? So basically, it's a fully decentralized uh, you know exchange where there's trustless chain-to-chain -chain transfers between Ethereum and Polkadot uh, or Polkadot to other chains, and they're using these um, you know Snowfork-based uh, you know bridges in order to uh, you know convert tokens. Uh, from Ethereum to the Pokedex, uh, to the Polkadot ecosystem, right? And again, they are also making it very clear that they do not have access to user funds and they do not have the smart contract keys, which means there's no uh, risk of rug pulls or dumping or anything like that for this project, right? Uh, you can learn more about that by clicking this button here. Planned bridges, Polkadot. Once Pokedex becomes a parachain, it will be able to connect to any other parachain and Polkadot uh, network itself to share assets in a trustless way, Pokedex will also get the ability to bring assets from Ethereum to Pokedex. So you will be able to, um, you know, after the parachain auction is completed and if Pokedex manages to get a parachain slot on Polkadot, you will be able to interact uh, between parachains because that's a feature of the Polkadot ecosystem which is interoperable between different parachains and by doing that, Pokedex can be much more like interoperable within the Pokedot ecosystem and due to uh, bridges that will be constructed between Ethereum and Pokedex, Pokedex will get to uh, you know bridge uh, Ethereum ERC20 based tokens into Pokedex and thereby uh, in, uh, introducing them to the Pokedot ecosystem, right? So that's pretty cool. Again, okay, this is pretty much a, a diagrammatic representation of how 
the ethereum based tokens will kind of become uh, you know pokedex based uh, you know versions of the tokens and will kind of enable it to participate enable those tokens to participate in the uh, you know pokerot ecosystem it's a very nice uh, diagram i really like it on chain trading bots pokedex enables hft through trading bots both uh, for both retail and institutional investors zero cancellation fees optimized through unique architecture uh, allow dynamic entry and exit based on the market situation incentivized api endpoints for both trading bot com uh, companies and liquidity providers and eliminate front running of orders by paying high gas fees a problem that plunges traditional decentralized exchanges right so basically what they're trying to say here is that basically uh, you're able to use uh, high frequency trading trading bots uh, uh, you know enabled win the pokedex ecosystem not only for the institutional investors but also for retail investors right um, and there is no cancellation fees optim uh, optimizing through unique architecture to allow uh, dynamic entry and exit based on the market situation and they're basically stating that they are um, allowing for quick transactions and you are able to use a trading bots to get the best out of your money right and you are able to earn incentives for providing liquidity and you know prevent front running of orders uh, in in ethereum if you want to uh, get ahead of uh, someone else you have to just pay a high fee gas fee and your transaction will be processed sooner right those kind of uh, features are not going to be a problem in pokedex because pokedex does not really allow for those features to happen and it kind of creates this creates this um, uh, you know fair system of uh, trading in the decentralized exchange right so that's also pretty interesting off chain state commits um, again I, i just want to make sure that um, i cover this one really quickly uh, pokedex order book implements a layer 2 trusted uh, execution environment tee on top of pokedex that allows an operator to maintain order book and the results uh, produced by the tee contains a cryptographic proof in the event of tampering the blockchain can invalidate the proof thereby not accepting the tampered uh, state Uh, submitted by the operator the funds of the user uh, always stays in the native blockchain and is controlled by the user's private key uh, it it ensures that only the trader's private key can initiate a balance transfer right so basically they what they're basically saying here is uh, pokedex order book implements a layer 2 trusted execution environment or tee which is a system that they implementing on top of the pokedex that allows for the operator to maintain the order books and results Uh, produced by the tee so basically they are uh, allowing for the tee to uh, maintain the order books and whatever is produced from the tee basically contains a cryptographic proof which will prevent tampering of the blockchain and thereby uh, prevent any form of security related threats to the uh, environment right uh, pokedex environment so that's pretty interesting and again a uh, there's a lot of other information here unmatched performance you can see how the performance are uh, you know pretty rapid you can clearly see a chart here where B bitcoin and ethereum have like 7 and 20 transactions per second respectively uh, weza has 24000 whereas polkadot polkadot has 500000 transactions per second obviously because it's on the polkadot Uh, ecosystem more features basically include high frequency trading you can pretty much do a seamless cost effective and high frequency trading uh, pokedex ido palette which is basically going to help you um, you know get access to these unique exotic cryptocurrencies through the pokedex uh, ID, ido and pokedex fiat uh, you will be able to uh, use fiat currencies to directly on ramp into cryptocurrencies just like how you buy a cryptocurrency using your credit card right so that's a very interesting feature which will literally blow up because there's no uh, currently that doesn't exist a fiat to altcoin or you know if you say less uh, popular altcoins there's no fiat to less popular altcoin on ramping right if pokedex can uh, provide this feature where pokedot can pokedex can support fiat currencies in pokedex order books that will be a huge deal which means there'll be decentralized uh, like money flowing in directly from uh, you know a user's bank account to a smart contract which will be revolutionary right 
Again, that's something that I'm personally looking forward to. Uh, decentralized KYC options, again, this is going to be huge as well because uh, when it comes to KYC, people don't really worry about doing KYC as long as it's not through a centralized party because when they do a KYC, the centralized party can not only be hacked, but they, they can also be victims of government-related pressure which will reveal all the identities of all the users uh, and therefore decentralized KYC is the way to go. And here it seems like decentralized KYC is what uh, Pokedex is also aiming for in the future, right? And uh, Pokedex NFTs, of course, you need to have NFTs in this mix and Pokedex also offers an NFT based platform that will that you where users will be able to trade NFTs. New token generation, you will be able to create your own uh, fan tokens or you know if you are a big YouTuber, you can create your own tokens in the Pokedex ecosystem and submit it to your subscribers so that they can have it as collectibles. High liquidity, you will be able to have high liquidity. Um, Folkless upgrades, again, that's also because of the nature of the Polkadot ecosystem itself where you'll be able to have forkless upgrades. Uh, Pokedex being a part of the Polkadot ecosystem also benefits from the feature, right? Strategic investors, again, let's see who uh, have invested in Pokedex. So you can clearly see that BTX Capital, AU21 Capital, uh, Block Dream Fund, DAG, Cluster, Master Ventures, PNYX Ventures, are some of the big ventures who have invested. Some of the other investors include CMS, Blocksync Ventures, Existential Capital, GBV, Outlier Ventures, NGC Ventures, Water Drip Capital, and so on and so forth, right? They have some huge partners and investors who invest in this, uh, in this ecosystem. And therefore, this project is going to have a lot of capital backing it, which will help it, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, push the, uh, which will help it push initially uh, to to like you know recognition and then as the peop as people start realizing its uh, potential, uh, people would start buying this token, which will drive the price of this token high, right? Some of our 20 plus motivated members, you can also see some of their team members. Um, again, we also have their LinkedIn accounts for you guys to follow to see what other projects they're involved in. Pokedex journey. So here is some of their um, you know um, their roadmaps. So currently, their main net is going to be live somewhere between Q1 to Q2. Uh, their security audit is completed. Uh, it's going to be completed in June 2021. Their public sale is uh, about to be completed in 2021 April, uh, and their main net will be uh, will be launched. And if you see, the bridging will happen on Q3 to Q4 2021, where they'll have parachain development. Polkadot crowdfunding and parachain auction, which will be a very key moment for all Polkadot projects. Uh, Q1 to Q3 of 2022, they'll have scale up where they'll have margin trading, uh, lending, futures, options, people consensus up upgrade. So all exciting stuff for this project. A distribution of tokens, they have a total supply of 20 million tokens, which is very interesting because again, I really like projects that have less than 100 million tokens um, and this project has a max supply or a total supply of 20 million tokens which is really uh, good to see. Their initial circulating supply will only be 1.9 million tokens which is 9.8% of the total supply. Again, uh, something that uh, not a lot of other projects uh, have anything different in the, in the first place. So it's kind of like similar to other projects as well uh, and the inflation is going to be a pretty short lived because the max, maximum token supply is also pretty small, right? 9% would be for the founders and team, 20% initial unlock after 12 months of mainnet launch and remaining vested quarterly. So again, they, they have a vesting schedule which will be really important for a project's development. 7% um, which, which is about 1.4 million tokens is going to be allocated to seed rounds, 20% initial and remaining vested quarterly. 8% for strategic rounds is 25% initial and remaining vested quarterly. In total, it's going to be 1.6 million tokens. 10.193% for private round, which is 2 million tokens in total, um, and 30% initial and remaining wasted quarterly. 41% for treasury, 10% for liquidity mining, and 6% for advisors, right? Um, they have their own vesting schedule, which I highly recommend you guys to look into. 6.8% for marketing, 2% for community rounds, right? So that's pretty much it. And if you see the Pokedex news, they have some really cool updates on being partnered with KuCoin and PokerStarter. It was available in PokerStarter uh, recently. And you know, Pokedex smart contracts are audited. So they kind of recently got audited. That's pretty good. 
and you can subscribe to the newsletter if you want right so again pretty robust project it not only aims to be this uh, premier decentralized exchange but it also has a lot of features that many other, many other projects don't have and it will be interesting to see how things roll for this project right so let's go to the coin gecko page for pokedex pokedex is currently unranked on coin gecko because it was only it was only recently listed on coin gecko and the pokedex token pdx token is currently trading at $23.47 at the time of making this video and it recently had a decent dip 21% uh, in the past 24 hours which is a really good buy opportunity trade. Again, it's a very small market cap token. I would say somewhere less than uh, 10 to 15 million dollars in market cap and the market cap information is not really available. So it's going to be really interesting because it's still very early to buy this token. The, we also already know that max supply is going to be 20 million tokens and among them the circulating supply is 1.9 million tokens which is really interesting to see and if you see the charts again I don't think there's going to be a lot of data available for the charts the token was only available since 16th of April when it was trading at 14 cents and then it kind of made its all time highs I wouldn't really call it as an all time high but it did have a local all time highs of about $37.56 and since then the token has been declining and now it's pretty much in a downtrend which we'll kind of see for quite some time I believe that this token has a potential to touch the $21 range $21 to $21.50 range and that will still be a really good buy this is still a good chance to buy this token but if you want to wait a little bit uh, longer you will probably be able to buy it at somewhere between 21 to 25 21 to 21 dollar 50 range right so let's look at the bitcoin compared to in bitcoin compared to is also pretty similar the token was initially priced at about 23000 satoshis per token reaching an uh, relative all time highs of about 63000 satoshis and now it's up at about 41000 satoshis again if you want to buy it with bitcoin i don't think there's a lot of uh, pairs uh, there's, there's a lot of uh, exchanges that offer this token in Bitcoin comparative but once it is available in Bitcoin comparative and if you want to buy it as Bitcoin comparative I suggest you guys to wait uh, till this token reaches around the 40 to 38,000 Satoshi range because it seems like that is kind of like the support that this token had recently and that will be a good uh, buy point with Bitcoin if any exchange chooses to list this uh, against Bitcoin right and if you see the Ethereum comparative it's available it was uh, available at 0 0.005 Ether per token and then reached an all time highs about 0 0.16 uh, 0 0.016 uh, Ether per token and then now it's uh, in a downtrend where it's 0 0.010 Ethereum per token I do believe that this token will kind of go down even further maybe a good buy opportunity would be 0 0.009 to 0 0.008 ether per token and that would be a really good buy opportunity right again not financial advice please do your own research before you put any of your money in this token this is, these are some of the price points that i would be personally buying it doesn't necessarily apply to you because you have to do your own research right so it is available on uniswap and kucoin and it's also available on bilaxi and hardbit Although I wouldn't really recommend Bilaxi and Hardbit, I would recommend Uniswap and KuCoin. If you want to buy it from a centralized exchange, KuCoin would be the better option. Uh, you can buy it with USC Tether. If you want to buy it from a decentralized exchange, obviously Uniswap is the best option, but uh, the gas fees uh, are really high at the moment, so you may not want to buy it from there if you're buying small volumes, right? So what's my final verdict on this token? I'm looking to buy this token at the 21, 2150 range. Uh, in USD comparison, I will buy a really decent bag of this token and I'll hodl it. Uh, I'm going to hodl all of my, uh, you know, Polkadot based tokens for a, a really long time because again, since the Polkadot ecosystem hasn't even gone live yet, uh, it's going to create a new, uh, you know, alt season this year and that's going to probably be uh, signifying the end of the bull run for uh, this period, right? And uh, that's going to definitely pump all the token prices of Polkadot in, into the stratosphere, including Pokedex. And Pokedex seems to have this unique advantage where not only is it aiming to be this decentralized exchange, the go-to decentralized exchange for Polkadot, but it's also having this order books. It's also having this lending, uh, you know, staking, and you know, uh, so many different features that Pokedex is offering that will make it a lot more appealing for people to buy this token right 
So by buying this token at this price, you're obviously buying it at a really cheap, low market cap price point when the circulating supply is very low. And once this token starts getting a lot of market cap, the price will literally shoot uh, all the way till fifty dollars, and by the end of this year, this token even has a potential to somewhere be between sixty-five to seventy-five dollars per token, which would be really impressive, right? Uh, again, remember, guys, you guys are not real investors; you guys are brutal investors. So stay brutal. Thank you very much for watching my video, guys. If you like my video, please click the like button and subscribe for more videos. See you in my next video. Bye.